Hi, welcome to another edition of Motivational Mondays. I'm Corey Mosley. Today I want to talk about the idea of follow-up and how that relates to the things that we do to create an environment where we can bring more customers back to the showroom, get more people to uh, return our phone calls. And if you're working in a retail environment, which I'm sure most of you watching this are, you're aware of the fact that there's a lot of monotony to what we do, whether you're in an internet department or a BDC department making 70 to 100 phone calls a day, or you're on a sales floor waiting for your next up and trying to do your follow-up. There's a certain level of repetitive nature of what we do, and a lot of that spills over into our follow-up. Think about the traditional follow-up that a salesperson does once he leaves the dealership, or once a customer leaves the dealership. Hi, Mr. Jones, this is Corey calling from ABC Motors. Just wanted to find out if you made any decisions on that new minivan yet. And then of course we expect the customer to give us this information or give us this answer to the question um, that's going to net us the deal. You know, we put a lot of emphasis on playing the numbers. It's a numbers game. Contacts, contacts. But what about quality? What about the quality of opportunity that we create when we respond to a customer? You don't think those customers just go, here's Corey calling from the dealership making another sales call? Or you don't think they hear the fact that you just came out of a come to Jesus meeting at your dealership where their management demanded that you make 10 appointments going into the weekend or you can't take another up? Any of that sound familiar? When you stay relevant with a customer, when you have a reason behind your contact with them, you have the opportunity to do two things. One, increase credibility. And two, lead yourself down the path to getting where you want to go. So let's take that same follow-up phone call. Hi, this is Corey calling from ABC Motors. Wanted to find out if you made any decisions on that minivan yet, Mr. Jones. Now, let's take that and make it relevant to Mr. Jones. Not relevant to the fact that you're trying to create another appointment, you're trying to get another B back in, or you're trying to simply sell another car. Hi, Mr. Jones, this is Corey calling from ABC Motors. I know you were in here a few weeks ago looking at minivans, and I don't know if you were aware, but our minivan just got another five-star crash test rating from the National Highway Traffic and Safety Institute. I know safety was important to you and your family when you were here, and you were the first person I thought of when I got this information. Now what's gonna happen? You tell me that logically you don't create credibility? Regardless of the scenario, Mr. Jones could have bought another vehicle already, but we don't know that at this point. What we're trying to do is create relevancy in our phone call to that customer to get him to give us the information. Sometimes we'll like it, I'm going to say, no, we didn't make a decision on that, and I appreciate that phone call. You've increased credibility. You've continued the relationship. You know, they say, or Jeffrey, Jeffrey Gittimer, a sales uh, expert, says that people love to buy, but they hate to be sold. See, when they see it coming, you have the opportunity to have a limited effect with that customer. But when you can create that relationship, and that's nothing new, like respect, trust, when you can create that relationship by staying relevant in your follow-up calls, most people give up doing follow-up because they don't have anything to say different. Because you're not looking for things to say different. You're not looking for different ways to communicate. And if you stay relevant every time you touch a customer, you're going to get the same information, but better information, but credibility increase that will net you more returns to your store, that will net you more deals, and of course, at the bottom line, will net you a greater opportunity to earn gross profit. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next week.